Hello, my legion of little goblins. This is Gamer Dragon, and welcome back to Let's Play Dishonored. We are still in the flooded district and are about to head to Redshore Gate. We have de just defeated Dowd. So I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> this is the longest. Oh. This is the longest mission in the entire game. Oh, these are dead bodies. That's so wrong. These bodies should be cremated. See anything? That must be be in that basement. <coughs> there's no hospital. I told you that. You think they round people up because there's a cure? There's city guards. <coughs> They're <coughs> supposed to protect people. Ah! They did. They protect the healthy people from people like us, the sick ones. I'm not uh, that bad. Some people pull through, right? <coughs> Don't they? One in a thousand. Ten thousand, probably. Any chance, I'll take. When, when I get out of there... <coughs> And get better. I'm going to do right this time. Uh, a fresh start. This time. Uh, uh. Goodbye, my boy. Strange. You don't look ill. You're not a victim, not a guard. A spirit from the void, maybe. Another wagon comes every few minutes. How many do you think have died? They say a third of the city. I wouldn't have believed it, but I saw the mound of corpses myself. They dropped us in it. I don't blame them. I know why they do it. But I only wanted to die at home. This is so disgusting. Like... Like... These bodies should be cremated. I can't stand this way. The plague wagon's running every couple of minutes now. We just need to get on top of it and ride out of here. Okay, great, smart guy. And what do we do when we hit the- Bitch, do not. Fucking push me, dude. Half the city's dead. We'll make it three more months.
All right, let's get our. Um, are you? Are you some new kind of guard? Like a tall boy? No. Therapy. Doctor, maybe? <sighs> Just kidding. Assassin, maybe. Passing through, huh? Hoping to catch a ride on the plague wagon. A few come through here trying. And they fall and break their necks. But that won't stop you. You're almost there. It's pretty easy to get to the rooftops from here. You'll see the way. Going so soon? <laughs> I thought you'd never leave. She is very bitter and angry. Uh, what do you want? Going so soon? <laughs> I thought you'd never leave. God, why are you such a bitch? Climbing this gets the ruin. What the fuck? don't see what took so long. It's the live ones crawling up out of the canal. Every ten minutes, I'm gutting another one. How many times have I specified that only cadavers take the long drop? It's why you get a weapon. So what is going on up at the tower? Now they're saying the Lord Regent started the plague himself. I don't understand it. It looks like a whole other group's in charge. Doesn't change things for us down here. Second item is carriers. Are you seeing plaguers come off the cart looking healthy? A few of them make it back up, and then we've got ten times the mess. Could be. Between killing weepers and finishing the barricade, how should I know? Am I supposed to kill everyone I ever see down here? I'm just passing this on from the stilt walkers. Well, pass it to the men on the plague wagons. It's their job to gut these bastards before they throw them down here. We got another whale oil tank on its way. When the lights come on again, it's your job to spot any weepers. You think that helps? Now I can stare old ladies in the eye before I cut them down. Why do you think no one lasts on this job? I'm heading back to civilization. What's left of it. 
Keep your head and you'll be on the stilts in no time. I'll do my best. Put in a good word for me, would you? So yeah, there's people in the that building right, right there. The one with the boards on the windows. to have to try and save them. One, two, three. No more bone turns or runes in this in this area. Why did I do that? is gone and what the fuck It's getting harder to find healthy workers who are willing to lay down on conduit in the flooded district. So what we're going to do is put it, ooh, is pick out any strong looking males who show signs of the sickness and offer them work in exchange for us to look the other way. They get these floodlights off, then you know what to do with them. That is so gross! Why are there so many gross people in this fucking game? Listen to that. Magnus is worried. Apart from dying in the muck in the flooded district, what's to worry about? I'm saying even if we get out, we're just bringing it back to our families. I don't have a family, and if I did, I wouldn't care. No one's keeping me here. I'll infect the whole city. Just get me out. I heard Blake back in the stairwell talking about a plan. Sounds crazy. All of us here are too weak to do it. If I hear that thing power down, I'm going. Me too. I bet the family man here is right behind me. I used to work the river. Eels Bend. Flooded district. The Whale's Tooth. I know the land out here, believe it. Only way out is past the Ark Pylon. And your friends? They could really help? They're twice as good as I am. When the Zapper goes down, they'll come for me. They won't rescue us while it's on? They're good, not crazy. When the Pylon's off, they'll move and not before. Perhaps I can help? I know you. I heard you've been all over town scaring the piss out of the higher-ups. You got quite a name. Too bad you're stuck down here with the rest of us. Listen, I've got friends coming to break me out of here in a couple of days. But we first need to take that arc pylon down. You'll find it in the courtyard just behind these buildings. You may want to take the stairs up, though. It'll give you a good vantage point. Pull the oil tank out and the pylon powers down. Don't take too long deciding. When they get the floodlights on, the tall boys are coming in to clear this place out. Uh, I need you this. my advice, head up these stairs. You'll get a bird's eye view of the problem. Might even see a solution.
fact, he's actually going to provide us with a solution. The garden there. Backyard is safe. I ain't seen nothing braver. And I worked the river for 15 years. Thanks for shutting that thing off. Stay quiet, and I'll get these people moving. Move this guy away. Oh shit, there's a fourth one now. Listen up, ladies and gents. Now, like I said before, it may be another day before my old buddies can get here, but they got a boat big enough for the lot of us. So just sit tight. The thing you learn from being a smuggler, half of any job's waiting.
need a hog. Their charms or runes in this level. See ya! Alright, Old Port District. Bone charms, one ruin. I'm not interested in loot. I got plenty of it. Look at this. Look at this ridiculous shit. Why that quest keeps getting glitched, though? No turning back, guys. I wish I had a last swig of whiskey. You're the mask guy has been taking down all the lords and ladies. No way through this gate unless you've got the sewer key. Only one place to get that key and I wouldn't go there. Not for all the gold in Dunwall Tower. Not again. Maybe you could pull it off though. Something attacked us in the distillery. It used the rats. I know it sounds crazy. And then it run back under the streets. So we come down here to kill it, Slackjaw leading the way. Went bad. I barely crawled out. Don't know what happened to Slackjaw. He had the sewer key, though. And there 
there's a good reason why I, he wouldn't go back. Okay. you deaf chopper here's another one for you that old witch granny rads told me you'll lose your taste for whiskey in the month of wind then your eyes will go dim in the month of seeds and you'll draw your last breath in the month of ice if you want your shirt you know what to do the 13 months all right let's see wind seeds Ice, wind seeds, ice, wind seeds, ice, wind seeds, ice, wind seeds, ice. Wind seeds, ice. Okay. Wind seeds, ice. One, two, three, four, five. Two, six, seven, eight, five, two, eight. You're loud. Who the fuck is Jelly, though? And who's this asshole that keeps leaving him shit? Wait, what the fuck? Ooh. We're getting to culty shit. Ah, oh, fuck off! Rushing this shit, aren't I? Come on. I'm going to boil off the nasty fat and sink and carve a pretty song on your bones. Hey! Someone kill this crazy witch! I could make you rich! Quiet now. Granny needs to concentrate. Damn that. I boil you alive. 
Any chance you'll hop in the pot? <laughs> Fine. Let me guess. She has the key. Yeah. These fucking things are locks. Want to know something funny? When we were kids, we were all scared of Granny Rags. Thought she was a terrible witch. Then we grew up and figured she was just a sad old lady. We were right the first time. Now ain't that funny? Not really. I owe you. This won't even the score, but it's all I got left. Luck to you, Corvo. They knew damn well who I was. Find your way into such interesting places, Corvo. At the eye of the storm, raging between granny rags and this man who has lived his whole life with a cleaver in one hand and a bottle in the other. Crawling out of those flooded ruins, winding your way back to the pub where you last saw Emily. Where is she now? You could just tell me. How does it feel now, knowing your allies betrayed you? Strange how there's always a little more innocence left to lose. And Dowd, the man who killed the Empress. You had him in the palm of your hand, and you let him walk away? You fascinate me. Sure I do. Oh, it's wind blast. I like this part, surprisingly. So the guy that was there is gone. Did I miss a bone charm? <sighs> no, I really don't. You know anyone who's still paying workers? I'm your man. Please don't bother me. How did it pass me by? All the others. And then, of course, what are these? Oh, 
Oh, fuck you. Fucking forgot that phone charm like Oh Bentley for that one, don't you think you Because mm. the unfortunate part here is Because unfortunately, I'm almost at the end of the fucking game, so really kind of fucking useless to me. All right, back to the Hounds Pits pub, and guess where we're gonna end up? Ah! Uh -huh. What did I get killed? Well, point is, we're done with the flooded district. You've returned to the Hound Pits pub and pit to pick up the trail of your old allies and find out where they've taken Emily. And look who's here. Cecilia? Please, no. Oh, it's you, Corvo. Thank the stars. We all thought you'd been killed. Except for Samuel. He seemed sure you'd survived. I saw him on the river shortly before the killing began. He was smart enough not to come ashore, but I'll bet he's still out there. Looking for you is my guess. At first, Pendleton said it was time for our bonus. Havelock stood behind them, and at the signal, he shot them each in the back of the head. Just like the target drills he used to. Lydia barely had time to scream. I would be dead too. Except Wallace told me I wouldn't be getting anything. Pendleton kept apologizing, saying that no one could ever know about the things they'd done. Martin was drinking and seemed sad. The Admiral was about to shoot Callista. Then he mumbled something about owing her uncle, Captain Kurnow, a debt. They said it was time for Sokolov and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. Emily was there when the killing started. Poor child. I hope she hit her eyes. The Admiral said that Martin was right. I guess they talked about it. And they started to worry they'd get executed for all that they'd done, going after the Lord Regent and his allies. I suppose it's why they've poisoned you too. All right, so I'm not gonna really fuck around. What a day! Gonna be a great party tonight. I was only a kid at the last coronation. We even make it to tonight. <laughs> you look at this mess. Relax. One of the officers said he was dead. Poison thrown in the river. If you ask me, he's long gone. With the mask in the river. That's what a rational person would do, not this guy. You have to understand the criminal mind. I hear they had to hide the Caldwin girl from him the whole time they were working for him. I heard they locked him in a cage and only let him out at night. Criminal mind, huh? <coughs> so what's he doing now? Sweet. He's probably watching us for this 
city get it. That crazy mask ever got. Get closer, ever closer, until. Cut it out. <coughs> What's so impressive about Corvo anyway? Who's he got up against? A couple of high overseers, a couple of noblemen? He could never stand up to men with our training. Ah! Now I do hope he shows up. I want to see you run crying for the cover of the tall boys out back. Like you were the other night. What was I supposed to do? Stand there and get hit by rocks? They were just kids. They were a gang. I hope Lord Regent Havelock sends the tall boys in to level the place. It's gonna be a new era. Having a ten-year-old on the throne isn't gonna cure the plague. High Overseer Martin says it will. <coughs> he says we were cursed when the Empress died by Corvo's black magic. And the rats are never gonna leave until we had a real Caldwin back. He says the outsider follows Corvo around. There's some curse on this city, that's for sure. I'm still trying to forget working in the flooded district. Don't remind me. Before we go, I'm gonna stash a few bottles of wine from the cellar. Take them out of here with us. Just make sure Corvo's not hiding down there first. Maybe you're right about that guy. dies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's refreshing to converse with someone on my own. Couldn't agree more. Your expulsion from the academy was a crime against natural philosophy itself. Which you might have pointed out at the time. But it's pointless to hold a grudge. I want to ask you... About the elixir, yes. And I need to discuss your tonic. Why have you not tried the homeopathic solution? And where am I to find the subjects? I can't recruit from prisons as you do. But it's forced me to work with another agent derived from... The river crusts, yes, I'd guessed as much. But I think our approaches may reinforce each other. This is what we've been lacking thus far. Gentlemen? Bravo. Good to see that you still breathe. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. I've attuned it so that we will be safe from the functions of the device will only trigger in the presence of our enemies. This arc pylon is more powerful than the older design. It will function at a greater range, striking down our foes while ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it before the killing started. Return the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully, it's still there. You may navigate the fields of this blueprint. Astonishing. The arc pylon is complete. Now to activate. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious. Or they can be reduced to ashes. What is your opinion, Corvo? Put them all to sleep. As you wish, Corvo, we will be far away before any of them regain their senses. All is ready, Corvo. All that remains is plugging in a whale oil tank to power it. Will you do the honors? When yes, this sir. The pylon is charged. No one will dare come near us. <laughs> it's 
So this is what Gero has been working on the entire game. Uh. That's not good. It functioned beyond my greatest expectations. It defies description. A device like this will ensure Dunwall's security for a century. Or get people killed. Thank God. Melissa, it's Corvo. Corvo, I can't believe you're alive. They killed everyone, Corvo. They killed everyone to cover it all up. Then they took Emily with them and they left. I couldn't do anything to protect her. Please find her. Make her safe. All his talk of being an honorable military man, but Havelock will use Emily like a puppet to his own advantage. Something changed in the Admiral as soon as the Lord Regent died. It had been building up. Martin was acting strange, going quiet if any of us were near, whispering late into the night with Havelock and Pendleton while you were out doing the real work. I think they realized they were one step away from holding the same position the Lord Regent had, and worried they'd be held accountable for what they did here, as the Loyalists. They would have killed me too, but Havelock spared me. Out of respect for my uncle, I believe. Please, talk to Samuel and the others. Someone must know where they're going. Find Emily. She's suffered through so much, and she's got no one else on her side except you. Samuel set this here in case you returned. You can use it to call him. He said he'd come quickly. Hopefully there's a place he can dock where the watch won't see him. Watch is unconscious. Now that you've eliminated the city watch, I can find my way out of here. But there's no way I can help Emily the way you can. I saw Samuel on the river earlier. I'm sure he'll take you- Bliss of fright not, I still believe- I believe there is still hope for Emily and Dunwall. I don't believe Corvo is gone. I'll be searching the river for him, but if you catch wind of him, shoot up a flare using the launcher I placed in Emily's tower, and I'll make my way back as quickly as possible. Keep this tower locked in, take care of yourself. Emily's gonna need you when this is over. You need to go. One last trip, I expect. We once discussed a system of signals to be used in Emily's tower for communication across the river. I wonder if he remembers that. Well, Corvo, I hope we can be considered colleagues again. Likewise. You were condemned. I was kidnapped. Men like us rise above such things. As to the good Admiral, I believe men such as Havelock start with high-minded intentions. Same with Martin, and maybe even Pendleton. Though I suspect he was just lazy. <laughs> but no one is prepared for the sheer seductive influence of being so close to real power. Once you start ordering people killed to get your way, everything else is mere detail. Well, I need you to make something. I'll Return make what you work need work as now. long Thank as you. I have the necessary materials. Oh, we got the explosive pistol. You know. A, a few levels too late. I don't even need most of this shit. I sincerely hope it goes well. Bye, hero. Goodbye, Corvo. I wish to apologize for what was done to you. It seems that holding all the pieces and standing a step from the throne changed something in the others. Something I don't understand. Don't underestimate Havelock, Corvo. He'll be waiting. I expect him to be waiting. Now, need to find some evidence as to where 
Aww. Corvo, remember before when I mentioned a special drawing I was working for on for you? This is it. I don't know where you went, but I hope you get back. I could, when you get back, you see this and like it. I'd like to take it to Dunwall Tower with us. Everyone's acting strange tonight. Samuel was whispering to Callista about a flare launcher that she was supposed to use to call him. I told he told her to lock the door to my ta old tower. I heard the admiral tell the others we are leaving tonight for a place called, called the Lighthouse on Kingsborough Island. I hope you get back before then, Emily. How could these mental reject guards fucking see this and not be like, wait a minute, something's not adding up here. Okay, I'm all set up. Captain Manning, we've trapped, we've tracked this conspiracy. We've tracked the conspiracy to the Hound Pits pub. Search the premise for the natural philosophers Piero and Anton Sokolov. Do what you must to secure all materials related to the enhanced arc pylon they've been construction constructing. Question them thoroughly, and once you are certain you have everything you know they know of the pylon, execute them both. Bring the pylon to me along with his papers and recordings. They may be two of the greatest minds of our age, but they're also traitors who conspired with Corvo to bring down this empire. I'm keeping Empress Emily Caldwin with me at the lighthouse on Keatsborough Island until we are certain that Corvo and his fellow conspirators have been dealt with. Lord Regent, another dickhead. General Notice. Be on watch for, the mem for members of the conspiracy. Some are still at large. If discovered, they are to be killed on sight, move the bodies into the kennel, but they are not. Not to otherwise be tampered with. Piero Joplin, missing, interrogate, then execute. Anton Soklov, missing, interrogate, execute. Lydia Brooklyn, found dead. Wallace Higgins, found dead. Corvo and Tano, believed to be dead, still assumed missing, kill on sight. Samuel Beechworth, missing, kill on sight. Interestingly, they do not mention Cecilia. The woman in the tower is Calista Cor- is Calista Kernow and is a victim of circumstance. We are in the wrong place at the wrong time. Do not disturb her, but do not allow her to leave the premise. She is under my protection. Calista, it's safe to- I mean, Cecilia. Corvo, I'm going to make a run for it. I think if I hadn't met you, I wouldn't be brave enough to try. I'll try to find you again someday when this is all over. Um. liking the look of this one bit. That party died down inside awful fast, and now they called all the staff together. They said one more package for me to deliver, but I think I'll be keeping station at a safe distance from the riverbank and keep an eye on things for a while. And there's Lydia and Wallace. was too good to be true. Seems that the conspiracy tried to use old Piero for their own gain and then discard him. But they have erred and delivered to me an ally almost as brilliant as myself. Old Sokolov and I will hold up here until we can blast the ruffians outside and make them <coughs> work out of me. All right. Well, let's get to Kingsborough Island, shall we? Another level that I think I will probably blow through. Thought I'd find you here. It never pays to bet against you, does it? No, it doesn't. I saw the signal. 
I knew you'd be back, Corvo. I knew it. We'll need to get out of here soon. The Admiral controls the military now, Martin's high overseer, and Pendleton's in favor with the aristocracy and Parliament. They need Emily, of course. But if Havelock senses that it's all about to fall down around him, who knows what he's liable to do. We're going to King Sparrow Island. That's where they've taken Emily. Good. Then it's one more trip across the river to where it meets the sea. That's where the Lord Regent was building his new lighthouse. There ought to be something to see. Now, if you've been doing well, the light at the end will be nice and sunny. This is it, sir. I suspect Half-Lock Martin and Lord Pendleton landed there a while ago and went into the lighthouse. Knowing them, they're not giving up without a fight. I remember hearing the Admiral and Martin talking about this place as where they'd hold up if they had to. Anybody going in has to breach the fort and the gatehouse. Then there's only one way to the top. Yikes. All I can say is that it's been a pleasure serving with you. Maybe after all this is settled, we'll see each other again. Good luck, Corvo. If anyone deserves it, you do. Give my best to Emily. After she's on the throne, she won't have time for an old man like me. Eh, she'll make time. You were sharp, Corvo. But somehow you managed to get through all this mess without losing sight of what really matters. For that, I respect you. The city's gonna pull itself up, I believe. Too many good people here to let it all turn to ashes. I'd best be going. The battlefield's no place for an old sailor like me. That time is long past. Good luck, my friend. Oh, let's get going. Gonna have a longer video over here. Makes that easier. Makes my life easier.
what you'll do if slack John as Bottle Street Boys jump you. You're such a who turned huh? off the wall of light. Guards, to me. Uh oh. I'll get to the bottom of this. Hey, you don't look so good. Gotta be here somewhere. <clears throat> Witchcraft! What... What's happening? Whoopsie! Uh, that was, uh, that was a total accident. Uh, sorry dude. You also nothing. You don't. Ah. You won't do shit. by the dock. Is that a good idea? Couldn't tell you. The whole place is turning into a madhouse, if you ask me.
Come on, go down the hole. Bitch. That's sickeningly high. Ugh. Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Chances are very good. I'd like to turn the music down a bit more. Martin, such a clever man. The talents wasted until he found his. This is all Martin's fault. If we hadn't helped Corvo get out of prison, Corvo hadn't been so damn good at his job. We hadn't gotten greedy and afraid. If, if, if. Always too sure that was my problem. Never hesitated. Too sure of what I wanted. Too sure of what I wanted to do when other men stopped to consider. Saw it as a weakness. I know Corvo's coming for me just like he came for the others. Crossing the island below like it was nothing. It's only a question of how and when. I'm lacking a counter move. It's all fallen apart. All the steps that led us here made sense. When I was young, I went to sea, took command of a ship, and made aimless men into sailors. Made a collection of boats into a navy. Then founded a conspiracy and almost led an empire. No compromise. Never showed mercy. Never showed weakness. I showed the world what matter, will, and vision. And not being afraid of getting dirty. And now, I'll lose it all to a man with a faster sword hand. Or is it that he has a slower sword hand? There's something wrong with the world. Oh, you're not wrong with that one. The history. I'll have a good epitaph. In his time, he commanded a noble lord, a high overseer, and an empress. The man who brought down a tyrant, Admiral Havelock. Son of the High Ocean. All right, let's knock you out. Let's see, have log at log entry seven. We could not have done any of this without Corvo, and for that I will be grateful. But I fear he did not have the vision to see the future we must achieve for Dunwall. We will not maintain our grip on the Empire with a little girl setting policy, and I believe Corvo's loyalty to the Caldwin women would have clouded his head. Is she truly his daughter? Yes. We will take Dunwall to the pinnacle of strength, but Corvo's rule in this cannot ever be recognized. He must be vilified, and I must take the reign. And when I take the reins of the city of the Empire, I will be seen as a hero and protector. We've done such things. Cowardly things that I'm ashamed of. How could anyone ever forgive us? Would they? You have to let me out. I'm the Empress. Who is that? Corvo! I knew you'd come. Is it going to be okay now? Will I be Empress? Yes. No more regents. No more bullshit. You are the Empress.
So ends the interregnum, and now Emily Caldwin I will take her mother's throne after a season of turmoil. You will stand at her side, Corvo, guiding her young mind and protecting her from those who seek to exploit her or cause her harm. You watched and listened when other men would have shouted in rage. You held back instead of striking. So it is, with the passing of the plague and Emily's ascension, comes a golden age brought about by your hand. Daniel, because and of our decades hence, when your hair turns white and you pass from this world, Empress Emily, Emily the Wise, at the height of her power, will lay your body down within her mother's great tomb, because you are more to her than royal protector. Farewell, Corvo. All right. So that was Dishonored, but we are far from done, because guess what? We got the DLCs. Ignore the Dunwall Trials. Because up next is the Knife of Dunwall. So that being said, thank you all so for much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and share this video with someone who might enjoy the series. I'm Gamer Dragon, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!